someone asked you to send the stems of a project that you're working on, maybe it's a mixing engineer you're working with or a producer or a music supervisor, regardless of who's asking for it or why you need these stems, here we'll walk through how you can export those individual stems from your project in Logic Pro. But first, really quick, if you want to see more videos on song breakdowns in Logic Pro or some mixing ideas that I use or live streams of songwriting from scratch, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So before we export everything right away, we do need to do a couple things to prepare this project for exporting those stems. The first is going to be making sure that I have any effects that I don't want committed or I don't want those in the actual audio file off. So for example, if I have reverb or something directly on my vocal and I want to leave that for my mixing engineer to do, that's something I would turn off at that stage, whether that's in my plugin strip or in any of my send strips here. If I'm exporting this for a music supervisor, uh, for a TV or film, then I might leave those on since I do want those pre-mixed in that case, if this is, if this is an already mixed project. So the way that I'll handle that, I have all my effects routed to one bus, so I'm just going to leave that out of what I'm exporting. The next thing that I'll look at is the structure of what I'm exporting. Am I exporting individual tracks or groups? And this project is a little different because I actually already have this mixed in this Logic session, but normally I would export mostly individual tracks. So in this example, I'll want to export all of these drum tracks individually so that they can be mixed, or all of these percussion tracks here. And then I'll export the synths, acoustic guitars, and the main and background vocals as groups. So you can see each of these is actually a, a group track here where there are individual tracks within it. But just for this example, I'm going to export that entire group as one stem. To do that, we'll go ahead and just click on all of the drum tracks that we're using. Hold shift to highlight all of those. And now I'm, instead of holding shift, I'm just holding command and clicking because there's a little gap there of some hidden tracks and I don't want to export any of those hidden tracks. So I'll go ahead and hold command and click on all of these. I'm gonna leave out the effects track because that's something my mixing engineer will work on in this case. Once I have those selected, we'll go to file, export, and here we've selected all 39 of those audio tracks because we have all of those drum tracks separately, all those little percussive and transition sounds separately. The other option, if we didn't select them individually, you could export every track in your project. I have a lot of hidden tracks in this project, so that's definitely something I do not want to do right now. We'll export those 39 tracks as audio files into this new folder I just created, the tutorial folder. In this case, I'll have it trim the silence at the end of the file, just so there's not a lot of silence at the end. We'll leave the format as a wave. Bit depth, we'll leave at 24 here. I don't want to bypass effects plugins in this case because I want those committed to the audio files. But if you just had placeholder effects on there, you can go ahead and turn this off and it'll automatically bypass all those plugins on your tracks. Since We'll pretend in this case I'm sending it to a mixing engineer. I'll uncheck that volume pan automation. I want to give that mixing engineer the control and flexibility to do those things in the mixing process. And then under normalize, I know that mine's not clipping here, but you can choose overload protection only so that if your track goes above zero dB, which will clip, it will normalize that down so that it does not clip. So it'll make those tracks that are too loud quieter so that it does not clip in the audio file that you're exporting. You also have the option to do a naming pattern on your tracks. So here we have track name, and then I uh, placed in this custom placeholder here. So we can just say stem. We'll go ahead and export this. And this will take a little bit to export depending on how long that song is and how many tracks that you're exporting. 
Great, so now that it's finished exporting, we can see we now have a nice folder of all of the individual stems from our snares to our kicks to the acoustic guitars stack, that group track that we had of the acoustic guitars. We have all of those in one folder now that we can send over to our mixing engineer, the producer, or the music supervisor, whoever needed those stems. We now have a folder of those nicely labeled wave files that we can just send right over. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you want to see more videos on song breakdowns in Logic Pro, any of the mixing ideas that I use, or live streams of songs along with any of my new music coming out, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.